ready. So I'll, uh, I'm gonna do this until I get a good run in, um, and then we can move over to Metal Slug. Sure. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Damn it. Double damn it. Do I want to reset on that? Now I do. Okay. Wait. What? What? Why? It, it, but. What? What is it, Jake? There's a scene in the Powerpuff Girls movie where Mojo Jojo is reading a newspaper. At, look at it. Oh. And the gorillas are advertised on it. Oh my goodness. This is one of those things. It is one of those things. I do remember seeing... Okay, so Damon and Jamie it was me, Damon, are big... The architect of all your pain. Mojo Jojo. <laughs> uh, Damon and Jamie are big Powerpuff Girls fans, but in addition, I have heard that... Uh, Craig McCracken did Powerpuff Girls, yes. right? That he's a Gorillas fan as well. Okay. Craig McCracken is a funny looking guy. He looks like a raccoon. Hmm. Would you like to see a picture of Craig McCracken? Are you just going to pull up a picture of a raccoon? God damn it. Okay, Jake. I asked you if you were going to pull up a picture of a raccoon. I thought you weren't going to do it, yeah, and then you just did. did. <laughs> yeah. So, ooh. Yeah, that's fine. That over. Okay, that's good. That's a good second level. Now, let's not die here. There we go. That's a good third level. I'm on a roll. Okay. Okay. Um, according to a cracked article... Uh, every universe is in the Gorillas universe now, because, uh, the Powerpuff Girls have been in every universe as well. Oh, that's true, isn't it? They went into the HBO show Girls. Okay. That's the least of which. They were also in, uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog. Right. Uh, tangentially as a poster that appears for a little bit in the Ride of the Valkyries episode. Hmm. Um, weird episode. Yeah, they were kind of fast and loose with a lot of those old Cartoon Network shows bringing them together, huh? Yeah. Which, I'm... Also... I'm fine with that. The Powerpuff Girls went into American Dad at some point. Of course they did. Uh, which Why is... not? Crossed over into Family Guy, which Family Guy is like a reference and crossover based comedy show. Yeah. So that just kind of opens the floodgates. Yeah. A show made of seamlets and offhand jokes. Yeah. Always. Has anyone ever edited uh, an episode of Family Guy to just be the plot and no cutaways? And it's like 30 seconds long. <laughs> and they're just like, that reminds me of the time uh, Spock was a guest on The Price is Right. <laughs> they just look at each other, nothing happens. I want to make that. Talking. I want to make that edit, where instead of <laughs> cutaways, it just keeps 
whenever somebody does that, it just stays on that frame of everyone <laughs> looking at them for the length of the cutaway. <laughs> they do... That sort of trope uh, that Scrubs did... Uh... At some point, the show became very self-aware of it, uh, and there would be a lot of, like, JD, what are you looking at? Mm-hmm. Uh, but I love that show, and they did it right every time. Yeah. So see if you can find my bias. Is something messed up with that show's aspect ratio? What show? Or is it just old? Scrubs? Uh, Scrubs. I don't know. Scrubs an old show. It's it's an older show now. It's it's getting there. Because reruns of it are all boxy. Hmm. I told you the thing about Scrubs is music, right? Um, which thing? About how the way they licensed the music, they had to change a bunch of it for reruns? Uh, explain yourself? Uh, so Scrubs used a lot of modern pop music in yeah. its soundtrack. Yes, I'm aware. And the way that they licensed it was like, great, you can use it for the show for this many years. Oh. And a bunch of years have passed, and now, uh, there's a lot of songs that are not the same song that it used to be when you watch it on reruns. Can they still sell it that way? Uh, I think they did? I don't know, I don't know about that necessarily. Okay. Oh, hello, Code. I'm gonna call you Code now, by the way. I don't like the word solemn. Um... We're gonna do Metal Slug 3, uh, after this run. By the way, um, he's super into Warhammer now. No. I cannot get him to <sighs> shut up about Warhammer. This level. I'm resetting again. That is a lie. Jake is the one into Warhammer. I'm kind of into it. I've never seen you more into anything else in my life. Um, since you know me pretty well, I didn't feel like this needed to be said. Uh, but it's the painting hobby that got me into it, not the other way around. Yeah, I figured. Ma! How dare we even mention Warhammer? Um... I mean, I can see if it was a thing in your past, and you sunk, like, thousands of dollars into it, and you quit, and it's calling your name every now and then, then you would want to leave it, but it's really such a niche hobby that I don't think it's really bugging anyone. Wait, what? Also, the video games. Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, the video games that have spun off from it can be good. Oh yeah, Vermintide is a Warhammer thing, right? The one yeah. you've been playing? Yeah, so the way that works is you know how Warhammer is fucking huge? Uh-huh. And you can be obsessed with just one little part of it? Yeah. Uh, the way they give out rights to make video games about their stuff is like you get to make a game about a certain era, uh, and some certain characters, um, and some certain races or events, and that that's it. Uh, and it's always enough material to make a full video game. Because there's, again, just such an embarrassment of riches when it comes to lore. Sean reads a lot of the books, uh, so it's great. I can be like, why does that guy have a green hat? And he'll <laughs> actually give me the real reason why. That's fun. Uh, 
Uh-oh. Come on. Yes. Okay. There is one question that I've been meaning to ask him as I paint my fox walkers. Uh, I get that the chaos guys are all diseased and, and they have 500 diseases and they're all about causing destruction. Great. That's fine. Why do their pants have zits, too? <laughs> he would probably tell me, like, oh, they're moth-eaten. Also, shut up. <laughs> you mean there might be, like, a plot hole or a lore <laughs> hole in one of the biggest... There are, Fantasy worlds there ever? Are no, there are no lore holes. <laughs> Only rabbit holes. <laughs> I... Try to say lore holes. <laughs> it doesn't roll off the tongue like plot holes does. No. I was... That lore was my hole. hypothesis. <laughs> It's just Laurel. Man, that guy banged her right in the whore hole. No, that's fine. Is that what? fine? <laughs> <laughs> no, well, no. It's easy to say. <laughs> it is. Um... What is it? Ooh... Uh, what? I, I don't know what makes it so weird. Oh, lore hole? Yeah. <laughs> it's funny to say for some reason. It makes me laugh when I say it. I don't know. Oh, oh, tough fall, tough fall. Did it. Heck yeah. Uh, so, what would be, like, the best possible way they could take, uh, this whole Powerpuff Girls Gorillas Powerpuff thing? Girls Gorillas? Girl-illas, <laughs> I think, is the best way. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, there's... I know they... I don't know if you would call it a reboot on the Powerpuff Girls, but there's been the new Powerpuff Girls show, you know? Yeah. Have you watched any of that? Have you? No. I've assumed it was going to be bad, but a lot of stuff on Cartoon Network recently, like in the last few years, that I thought would be bad has been surprisingly good. So I might check it out at some point. Really? Name some new stuff that's been surprisingly good. Teen Titans Go has been better than I thought it would be. Okay. I'm gonna stop you there. Uh-huh. Uh, it's interesting what's going on with, uh, Cartoon Network lately. Yeah. Because, uh, you know about the Cal Arts debate? No. Uh, Cal Arts is a nice little animation school, um, uh, obviously California. Mm -hmm. A lot of cool people went there, like Butch Hartman. Okay. Um... But the Cal Art style is what it's called, is that, like, no wrinkles on on a character's face. Uh, pretty much their mouth needs to look like a simple caterpillar. Right, okay. Uh, just locked in a creepy smile. Uh, perfect circles, perfect squares. Most characters need to be the same sort of shape and size. Yeah, Cal I think Arts. I get what you're talking about. Uh, and there's been Teen Titans Go, which has King Ezekiel in it, by the way. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a new, like, Thundercats show. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not Thundercats. Which, I'm not one of those guys like, oh, God forbid someone destroy the sanctity of this show that was a commercial for action figures. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But even still, it kind of does crap on what the original was, because that at least had animators and good artists working on it. Yeah. Uh, and so, yeah, the backlash is, is in full. And um, I think, like, starting now, there's going to be some serious rerouting in their programming. They're hmm. feeling the need to course correct, because... Despite what you've been enjoying lately, Cartoon Network has really not been killing it. Yeah, I've heard that. Uh, that show Gumball, though? Yeah, that's another one that uh, I initially wrote off and then found out was pretty good. Like, and I should clarify, I'm not watching these. Yeah. But, uh, from what I see and hear about, it's cool. Like, Gumball is one of those ones that, uh... Like, there's one character that's just a 3D banana, mm -hmm. uh, woven into the 2D CalArt style. Yeah. One of the guys is just, uh, a puppet. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm a fan of stuff like that. Uh, I like when they can switch around. Some of the really freakish shots in, uh, Courage the Cowardly Dog were that way because it would switch to the 3D style. Mm-hmm. Or there was, there was the one with the, the oak tree with the live-action mouth. Yeah, I remember that one. I saw on Twitter something about an anime Thundercats that was really good, but didn't get the rating, so it got cancelled. Oh, Steven Universe. I... stopped watching Steven Universe after, like, three episodes. Um... And also, apparently, the girl who made that show draws porn of Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and that was, like, a red line for me. So, yeah. You sure about that? Yeah, it was. I Aww. found it on accident, and, uh, I, I just don't get this whole thing of, let's show how tolerant we are by taking characters from stuff and saying, hey, wouldn't it be great and cool if they were gay? Like Lando. You're not gonna drop that, are you? That was so barely a thing. Uh, I found out what it was. What was it? Um, it was like... I think it was like Lawrence Kasdan's son did an interview. Mm hmm And someone asked him, Hey, uh, what is Lando? And he said, well, I guess he could like boys and girls. Because he's not going to be like, oh, well, he's just a, a, a vagina-licking, uh, heterosexual, uh, just, oh, man, just, they don't come any straighter uh, and conservative than Lando. Okay. Because uh, that would get you fired from Disney, um, especially the way Bob Iger runs things. Hmm. And, uh, yeah, that wasn't... Like, the team convened that... and said, Hey, we need to make him gay! Okay. Um, that was just, they ran away with it. Because I was gonna say, I didn't hear anything about that until you said it, and the new movie did not touch on that at all. Yeah, well, that's, that's the thing, so is was it wasn't... I was a little confused. I was wondering initially why it was not in the movie, but, like, this big thing on the internet... Yeah. Uh, and what I assumed and shouldn't have was, oh, they're trying to have it both ways by not showing it, but also saying it, so they get the points. But they're only going halfway. Steven Universe is a fully comprehensive show with a pretty good main plot with some funny one-off episodes pretty good throughout. Oh yeah, I should probably clarify, since I'm doing the speed run, I'm not participating as much in this conversation, but Jake and I have very different opinions on Steven Universe. I watch it regularly. I think it's great. We have, uh, clashing opinions on everything. Yeah. How are we friends? Um, I like hashing it out. Hmm. Uh, it doesn't make me angry. Counterpoint. I don't like hashing it out. Okay. <laughs> okay. I hate Steven Universe, Andy, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're trying to stoke your hatred. Well, that's too bad, because I'm focusing on the speedrun. You do hold grudges pretty bad sometimes when you want to. Oh, yeah. 
Uh, I'm... The way I am... Uh... If someone really pisses me off... Uh, and affronts my character or humiliates me purposefully in front of a group of people. This doesn't happen often. Uh, I will go to bed that night and say, ah, I gotta keep being mad at them. And I can't. Mm. Uh, I sleep it off. My thing is... And I'm ashamed in my angry <laughs> self because it, it fails me. Right. With me... That's it. It's in my opinion at least, relatively hard to actually piss me off. Like, you need to repeatedly be intentionally and deliberately shitty to me for a long period of time before I'm really upset. And so if I'm holding a grudge, I usually feel like it's justified. Do you ever do, uh, anything about your grudges? And I mean, like, do you come back to them and think, oh, maybe I was out of line? Do you think about getting revenge? Uh, or do you cope by just sweeping it under the rug? Uh, what is your protocol? Usually, um, if I'm holding a grudge, my response is, God, fuck that person. I hope I don't have to deal with them anymore. And that's about it. Okay. And if I need to, I I will. I won't, like, be a huge shit about it, but... Uh, explain your grudge against eggs. <laughs> They're the worst. That's it. Okay. You happy with that, that answer? That answer to that question you asked? I guess it's just fitting. We're so yin and yang about things sometimes that I just figure like, immediately when I find something I enjoy. <laughs> like, oh, better not share that one with Andy. <laughs> but I do. I just check anyways, because I get lucky. Like, stuff like LCD Sound System, you know the band we're listening to right the fuck now? Yeah. We are. The stream isn't. I don't, yeah. I don't like them that much, mm -hmm. but I did show them to you. Yeah, I'm glad you did. Um, and, you know, it's funny what you said about, like, Usually, if you find something you like, you're like, oh, better not show Andy. I'm basically the same way with you at this point, where I feel that, and then I probably do anyway. I totally get it. Like, you could talk about anime movies, and I could try to help you figure out what they're about, because some of those are really obtuse. Mm -hmm. uh, and some of them are, like, just art. Yeah. Um, but I won't watch them, because... Almost even on some sort of weird medieval principle. I just don't like it. Yeah. Um, however, um, figuring out why people like those things is not, not a problem with me. That's a fun conversation. I think uh, it doesn't matter what anyone uh, loves. Uh, even if it's murder or something... Uh, <laughs> It, yeah, keep it, going with that train uh, of thought. I, I would still want to hear them talk about it. Okay, yeah, I can understand that. Yeah, is what that... Like, as long you as... You gotta wait for the ending. As long as they're not murdering, it's interesting to hear them talk about why they like it. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, no, I understand that. Have you ever gone on, like... Like a morbid knowledge quest of serial killers? I haven't, but I totally understand that desire. First through third grade, I got, I read every book about the Loch Ness Monster and cryptids in the Sheldon Branch Library and the school library. I thought you were going to say first through third grade, you went on that knowledge quest for serial killers. Nope. And... I was going to say, after that, I did go on my knowledge quest for serial killers. Oh. Um, specifically, like, the kinds of ones that they're riffing on in L.A. Noir. Yeah, okay. Hold that thought, L.A. Noir. Someone asked about the Ed, Ed, and Eddie Warren. Okay, so Rebecca Sugar, I think is her name. It is. She is the singer and artist? I, all Does I know draw? is creator. I think she's also the artist. It's possible she draws for uh, Steven Universe. I don't know if she um, still does because she's, you know, in charge of it, but at the very least, she made the characters. Um, is... 
so far left, she's like falling off the ledge. Uh, and I say that hopefully amicably. Um, and so, yeah, she has certain views about uh, LGBT. And yeah, long story short, she drew porn <laughs> of Ed, Ed, and Eddie uh, on with each other. And uh, yeah, I just. I I'm imagine. Just kind of annoyed by that type of thing. I mean, by the way you describe this, I imagine it's the kind of thing where, like, she's not putting that on her portfolio or anything. That was just, like, a thing she drew, like, ten years ago. Uh... Put it on DeviantArt because that was a thing back then. If Twitter can nowadays be considered part of one's portfolio, then yes, she does. Okay. Interesting. Uh, but it all comes down to... How you feel about it. I haven't looked into that at all, so uh, I don't think I'm going to form opinions on it right now. I would just advise you don't. From someone who has. Me? From me who has to you who has not, do not look into it. It mm won't make you more enlightened either way. Okay. Uh, yeah. That comment was in response to saying that someone could like murder and you would like to hear why. Hmm, I see. Okay, yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. So, hmm, if someone is really into uh, drawing smut uh, of unusual things. I can say unusual, right? That's like, sure. a, like a free jazz cartoon of wobbly animation that did a lot of wild things, why wouldn't I want to hear about them if they were into it? Okay, that's fair. Uh, I don't like it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. Is that good enough? I don't know. How could I better answer that question, Andy? No, I think, uh, I'm not gonna press that. Okay. If chat wants to, that's up to them. Uh, but it's funny, though, because the kinds of things that don't make me uncomfortable, make me intrigued, are things like, Oh, yeah, we found the killer, and he made bowls out of human skulls. Or, uh, I don't rem Was it... Might have been, like, Jeffrey Dahmer had bedposts of, like, femurs. Uh, I actually, um... That's one, a hard one level, of my sorry. friends. Uh, works at a school for, uh, sort of wayward children. Uh, lots of problems, and he knows lots of techniques uh -oh. for uh, restraining okay, underage kids. Uh, anyways, there was this one kid, and, uh, he found his box of dead birds, uh, and my friend says, hey, what, what are these? Did, were you trying to help them? And the kid is like, no, these are my trophies. Like, less than ten years old. Uh, oh yeah. Um, it's up to you, this is your stream, but I can start talking oh, shit, about- basics here. <laughs> I can start talking about other things, uh, if you, if you want. Hey, Rasic, this is my friend Jake. He's helping me stream today. <laughs> uh, Rasic was the stream that I was watching before you came over. Yeah. Do you ever wonder about, like, like, why something... Why, like, one murder uh, can become this sort of national craze, like Jean Benet Ramsey... And how everyone was trying to be like some sort of Sherlock Holmes saying, Oh, it had to have been the brother, or, oh man, the way the ant talks, you know, it's totally the ant. Right. Um, or like, in the 90s we had OJ, and I feel like it was a much more normal thing for America to be really interested in the outcome of one case together. Or they would get together and watch a high-speed car chase or some shit. Uh, Did you ever watch The People vs. O.J. Simpson? No, should I? 
Jenny did, and she said it was really, really good. Like, one of the best shows from that year. So. What is this, uh, um... What? <laughs> I'm, I'm not, uh... Not a killer. Um... No, I'm, I'm too sensitive. Couldn't do it. I couldn't even kill myself for the reasons I couldn't kill other people. Because of the ripples, the waves it creates, the way that not even your own life is yours to take. Man, I've thought about that's that too. That's not just a true thing, that's just how I feel. And I've thought about it long enough where this is, this is a truth to me. Did, you thought about it too? Oh, just the... Like when I've thought about, you know, the idea of somebody losing their life. Yeah. Not even in the context of murder or suicide or anything, just in general. Okay, good. Um, I've thought about not just, like, their life up to that point. Code is taking off. Uh, oh, bye, Code. You thought a lot, a lot about their life up to that point. Well, not just that, but also, like, all the potential life that they're losing in the future. Um, you know what I mean? Like, it's not just what they've done, it's everything they can do, it's everything that they might have affected otherwise. Can I take an educated guess about you then? Uh, sure. Uh, you're probably for assisted suicide? Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, see, that's where that element is gone. And what do you have? You have a person who wants to die and knows better than anyone what's good for them. Yeah. So, I mean, that's my justification, or not necessarily even justification, but it's my reason at least Rationality. for not being a murderer, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Back I to the question like, at hand. I feel like I could describe that better if I were not speedrunning right now. Okay, I'm like, gonna... I'm gonna... Like, the, the reason that the idea of murder makes me go, hmm, I'm not sure about that. I'm gonna read and then maybe one of us can address what Rasik said. Go for it. I think a lot of it is that the internet and social media don't exist as it does today. Oh, this is to my sensational question. Ah, uh, yeah. So the reason why everyone was glued to their TVs for the OJ case, uh, was because they couldn't get, couldn't just stream it online. Or something like that. I can see that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably... Yeah. There's just a lot more uh, voices in the ether now, also. Like, everyone can get noticed in, in any way they choose to on the internet. Uh... You don't have to necessarily organize a protest to begin a movement. Uh, I hope... Talking out of my ass, but there might have even been some recently uh, in New America where it was just like a hashtag or something and it did become a like a like a tangible, visible movement. I, was Me Too Twitter? Was that a handle? I think hashtag Me Too started on Twitter, yes. Yeah. And Black Lives Matter did too, right? Yeah, you know, I can't just sit here and say, oh, well, because Twitter gave it the label, uh, that that's how it just came to be. But uh, it lived some of its life on the internet. <laughs> Probably a big portion of it. Yeah. Um, I don't remember why I made a Twitter account once. Uh, it was a ways back. Uh, but the type of, please come back, we're desperate, email I get from them is, uh, hey, you said you liked Eugene Merman. Maybe you want to hear what funny quips John Mulaney was making on a daily basis? 
Uh, so, I guess the way Twitter works is you can just tell it, uh, these are the kinds of people I enjoy, and then it'll fill in the blanks for you with its algorithm or whatever. Yeah, it does that. Uh, have you ever seen a death, or been close to one, or heard, like, say you were walking to the bus stop, and then you heard later that night that, ooh, someone was killed there, and you just felt, like, close to death as a concept? Um... Yeah, you can answer the question. You're here. Go for it. Too high, damn it. This level is like uh, seven middle fingers <laughs> <laughs> with spikes at the top. That's a good way to describe it. And this one is like an EKG flatlining at the top. Uh, we just got a yeah from Rasic, so mm. I'm not sure we get a full answer. Um, did I tell you about the time death stalked us in, uh, in Hawaii? Oop, no. There it is. It's awkward to talk about, though. I was there with my grandfather in the hospital right before he died. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, he pointed at him and said, I'll be right back. That is... Wow. Rough. Sometimes there are sentences, just single sentences in life, that you can save as a memory pretty vividly forever. Uh, I don't have any that are that affecting. And definitely not one that I could serve up right now uh, to follow it up. Uh... Yeah, that's deeply unsettling. Hmm, he has a tattoo of it. Um, yeah. That is totally the kind of tattoo I get. Would you have a... Would you have a tattoo of any of your family members, Andy? I don't mean, like, of their face or anything, but just anything that reminds you of family. I don't think so. I don't think so, either. Even though I feel like family uh, is one of my biggest priorities. Um, okay. So, yeah. Uh, did I tell you about the one trip to Hawaii? I think it was for my sister's wedding. Uh, where it was just a few days before we were out hiking and stuff, and we just saw a bunch of people die. No. Um. <laughs> you did not ever tell me about that. There is, there's a few waterfalls close to my grandparents' house, but we went to one, uh, called Manoa Falls. Okay. It's just a short little hike, usually pretty muddy, because, uh... The river has actually changed course, or the stream, and so you're actually, like, going straight up the runoff mm -hmm. at points. Uh, so, yeah, you need good footing there, but you get to the end, there's the waterfall, uh, tons of cable and cords saying don't go on to it, uh, and it's really not even something the seasoned locals do because they know that it's dangerous yeah well you probably figure it out uh we got there and uh half of us were present when a girl a local girl uh went up and just slipped fell off died immediately uh and the other half of us uh made it like most of the way up uh before the paramedics 
started like cordoning off the area and telling people to leave. One day, two days later, uh, we did a, a waterfront hike on the sort of ridge with a lighthouse. Mm-hmm. Um, on kind of the windier, rougher side of the island. Um, and obviously, uh, uh, really not like a surfing location because that's where <clears throat> people get swept out a lot. Uh, so there is this uh, sort of switchback area that led down to what kind of looked like a bubbling, boiling pot uh, and a horribly fashioned plank that you could bounce on and jump into. Uh, my brother apparently goes there all the time, because he's an amazing swimmer. Right. And he's fine. Mm-hmm. Uh, a local went there, though, and got ripped out the pot uh -oh. into the ocean, uh, never surfaced again, couldn't be seen, uh, just totally pointless for her family or friends to even go out and try, because they would just die too. Uh... But here's the fun part. That happened, this time it was before we got there, but only moments before. And the only indication that anything might be wrong was that there was an ambulance and some uh, emergency responders just sort of talking. Um, none of them felt like it was important to tell anybody that a death was in the process of occurring. Fuck! Uh, or, like, stop people from going back to the location where she jumped in and died. Uh, they were just fine with that. I don't know, I thought that was strange. Yeah, I agree. I'm sorry for interrupting. Uh, this is the last level, and I was really close to getting a sub-34 time. Uh, and then I died twice. Eh, uh, that's that's okay. what that fuck was for. That's okay, you'll get it. Yeah, 3422. That is fucking incredible, though. Um. Uh, okay, well, okay, you're a little Steve Bannon here. Trying to suck, suck his, his own, own dick. dick. Um. The mooch is a God. national treasure. Um. You have a lot of national treasures. Yeah, and the mooch is one of them. Um. Uh, wait, is Nick Cage a national treasure? He is. Is national treasure a national treasure? I've been on the fence about that one. Nick Cage is especially, though. I didn't realize how much people liked those movies genuinely. Yeah, they're not terrible compared to other movies. I think it's mostly Nick Cage bringing them down. Isn't, like, John I mean, not Voight actually his weird dad? I don't remember. If I apologize for every F on our drop playing in plus one. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, you would. Um if you're allowed to go on the internet, you're allowed to see a lot of stuff. Um My uh original Windows ninety five computer mm -hmm. uh uh got a tornado virus. Oh yeah. Um and that's pretty much how I saw all that stuff for the first time on accident. Mm. On accident. Right. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, so, are you gonna go again, or... No. Um, I really don't want to overlook the significance of this, though. This is the category that I've been putting more effort into than any other. Like... Six months ago, I started this category. Wait, hold on. Uh, it is a funny word, but uh, way back it's not when... not quite as good as lore hole. Way back when, of just, I don't know, ten years ago. That is, I think, what some people called them. Anyways, though, uh, you know how when you beat uh, Solitaire and the cards go flying everywhere? Uh, it was like that, uh, but with windows of just the most disgusting porn... <laughs> that no one should see, and I was like twelve. Great. Um. Yeah, but I've been, 
actually putting a lot of time into this category, my main goal for months has been getting a sub-35 time. And for like the last two weeks... Oh Jesus, I thought you said you were upset that you wouldn't get sub-34? I was. I was so close to skipping a whole minute over... Oh, okay, I see what you're The saying. huge goal that I've had. Um... Okay, well, so you did, you first... First of all, you PB'd. Second of like, all, you could have PB'd by a lot better. Yeah, for like two weeks, every day, I've done at least one run of this, usually two or three. I don't and know. And I've been like well over a minute behind, a minute ahead on some runs and then lost it. This run was great. To, I'm so happy with this. To me, that's like a chocolate-covered positive with sprinkles and a cherry on top. Yeah, There's just... not really anything bad about that, even though you made mistakes. No, yeah, this is great. I'm bummed I didn't get sub-34, but I'm very, very, very happy with this run overall. Okay. We can move on to Metal Slug, like, any time now. Finally, sometime, yeah. I'll have you watch that Bikini Bottom <laughs> speed run. Yeah, I do actually want to see that. Uh, A, because it's shockingly technical... It's yeah. like Smash Bros. level of movement. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the other thing is the speech he gives at the end of it uh, <clears throat> feels so much more important and eloquent mm -hmm. than commencement speeches I've heard and valedictorians graduation addresses. Uh, he just talks about, like, how all mistakes in life uh, he's learned to learn from, uh, and how the, the, there are tools he's gotten from playing the Spongebob video game that, uh, will take him far in life, and, uh, just the amount of confidence, and I do what I like better than everyone else who does it, uh, just was great, and you're so happy for him. That's awesome. Um, yeah, so, uh, he, you know, We'll see it eventually. It's a nice finale <laughs> to uh, the craziness. Yeah, I'm sure I've told you at some point, but I have heard that a lot of the Nickelodeon video game speed runs are actually really cool. Yeah. And worth seeing. They're actually damn good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yep. You good to move on to Metal Slug? Uh, you want to do that? Yes. Okay. Uh, 